What's up? We are back lusting after very hot women. Um, Jay Green's with me eating popcorn because yes, Green actually got popcorn. Congrats, you got popcorn. I might steal a piece, but then I might hear like nom 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 nom. nom. <laughs> and you also took their heads, which gives you the cotton that we were with us. Yeah, mate. So slowly you will hear Green get crankier and crankier. They will slowly get crankier until they drive green and or James. Yes. Did you know that you're also record like you're recording your um audio twist? I am. Okay. Have I been doing this whole time? Yep. Oh, lovely. Am I actually? Yep. Is that how that works? Mm, you know what I did wrong? Mm. Go to Amazon. Yeah. It's a map you get monitor and output, right? Yeah, go to monitor only. Whoopsies. Is that better? No. Oh, it's I can't hear my own voice anymore, so. Oh, no, I can. Can I? Yeah, I can. It's good. I can't hear it anymore. That's good. So, okay. I guess. So it was recording your voice over. And voice over. Alright, I guess that's fine. Anyway, um, now you look across. Uh, now you're looking across the beach. Right across the beach to have a no, little spirit, lust in your eyes. Sweat was streaming on her skin. She is not lustful, but my goodness. I really need to get used to not hearing my own voice in my ears again. Uh, anyway, your heart races. You can feel your pulse pounding in your ears. Spirit takes you by the hand, and you sit face to face at a private section of the bar. Dude, she's going to kill you. Oh, she's totally going to kill us. I feel a knife in my back for you. She begins to reach for you, putting her hands on your shoulders. You're sweating, but not in the sexy way she is. You're sweating in the gross way you'd sweat at an interview for a job you're not even remotely qualified for. You don't know what to do. If you try to lock lips in this state, you might gross her out so completely that she'll never be able to look at you romantically again. Spirit, I... You... We... I have some bad news for you. Um, I have something in my teeth, don't I? I think it might be seaweed. I have no idea how long it was. I was in that ocean. Drugs. <laughs> I don't think that's a cantana, but it, is that a cantana? Okay. I wasn't gonna. If I was interested, which I'm not at the moment in time. Are we just holding that? We guess we are. I'm not above lying to you. So the thing about me being not that bad to kiss, was that a lie to get me to play along? I think we want to know the truth. Look at that episode. Look how it's like this. I think it's like me. All I ever listen to is kind of suffering. Treat me well. 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 Mm. He said, Otherwise, try a different round and see what happens. I hate to break up such a passionate moment. But that we only assume was passionate because we never spy on you constantly while, while you're on this island. But dinner seems to right away, and we must insist you don't, that you join us. We wouldn't want anyone dying of starvation when there are so many interesting things to buy from. Seems like the next activity is mealtime? How quaint. 
what were you expecting? What? Capture the flag? Do you know how complicated it is to run a game like that? Much more so than sitting and talking. You arrive at the cookout area and find an assortment of picnic tables scattered around. What were you expecting? Some kind of grand hall with a huge banquet table? This ain't some pretentious, 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 prestigious, prestigious fantasy epic that you'd find on cable. Dwight and Claudette urge you to you to your seat, but there is very limited seating directly around you. And oh, great, terrific! It seems like everyone wants to sit next to you. Even better is that they don't want to sit next to certain other people, either. To start, no one wants to sit next to Trapper. Trapper's a piece of shit. Meanwhile, he refuses to sit next to Wrath or Wraith or Trickster. Oh yeah, Trickster's here. Surprised? Well, yeah. They don't call him Ex... Expreter? Expectister. I'm sorry. Even I get nervous around crowds of killers. And my whole thing, my whole shtick gets a little flustered. I'm staring at the bottle. Listen, I know I don't like to talk. Stop I'm staring at the bottle of Abby soda. Whew. What did I drop? And I'm, uh, I'm okay, stop staring at the bottle. Read. Hey there, Green. Ah, uh, sorry. Hey there, you have a good job today. Real good. And we literally can't let Huntress and Trapters sit together. No, seriously, their arms are too big. They can't fit at the table if they are sit sat side by side. Looking at this, we can't even fit everyone on screen at the same time. You probably think this was an error, but it's not. This was completely intentional. Dude, he like has to be the center of attention. You, you, you blinded my girl. Come on. Let me be a lesson to you. Every error you think you see is a choice. Got that? Got it. Bullshit. Got it. Bullshit. Okay, Dwight and Claudette are directing traffic. You sit on one side, the rest of them will sit opposite you. Wait, what? Hunter and Trapper can sit at the ends with their enormous sexy arms. Now that everyone... Oh, do you want to read it? Yes, you want to read it. What are you doing? Nothing. You eat. Okay. Now that everyone's seated, we can begin dinner. Nice meal. Break slowly and carefully with both love and hate for twelve hours over a spit. We hope you all enjoy. We really, really hope you do. Hey, you didn't actually tell us what you're serving. What are you eating? It's me! Seasoned with a specific number of special herbs and spices that we simply can't divulge. Mm. So poison. Meat is good. Meat is murder. Which you know, considering you, what you've been up to. Who are you to get judging you? I'm just... I'm just sharing facts, and you need to murder something to eat. It's me. So, that's, te- like, technically true. Technically true is the best kind of true. <laughs> okay, enough of that yapping. Let's get eaten. Hey, Dumb J. You thinking what I'm thinking? No. It's gonna be a person... It's gonna be a person on that spit, right? Or several parts of overlapping people, perhaps. I haven't seen many pigs wearing palm tree button down prints, you know? When you look closely at the spit, you spot what definitely appears to be scraps of fabric sandwiched between some layers of meat. I think I might be sick. Is there anything else to eat? This took 12 hours. And we literally do everything on this island. Actually, there's one thing you're not doing tonight. You're not carving up this delectable meal. Wow, he's right for a change, because I'm 
I am with the products, and it's the perfect tool for chopping, for easily chopping anything in twain. First, who says twain? Sometimes it's where it's like we're all from completely different historical eras. Second, I think I'll handle this with my clear cleaver. Fast, powerful, and clean. At least it's clean when the meat is cooked. No blood. Ah, uh, you two are already going to spice up some new contacts. Enough. Throw it all. Obviously, like, Katana is the only option. Obs. That's how it is. Well, I'll show you how both my Katana and send you to actual home if you'd like. Please stop, please. I hate when we fight, or talk, or even when we look at each other in the eye. I'm moving, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I can do that. I have a soul of Azrob. That's his weapon? I can't see it, like, very well. That looks pretty cool. Great, instead of- or sorry, wrong person. Great, instead of slicing it up, you can club it like it's- you can club it to a second death. Hey, Dunjay, I know this isn't what you want to eat, but hurry up and volunteer to carve up Felix, uh, I mean, dinner. Otherwise, this will go on for hours. No, I, I will. Hyperbole. Hyperbole. I fucking hate that word. No hyperbole. Once they, they once argued, that's hyperbole. <laughs> they once argued over who had the most effective weapons, or 72 straight hours. And it doesn't matter which one does it. When they're they're done, they will take even longer cleaning their weapon, all while explaining the value of maintaining your tools. Despite being a bunch of cold-blooded killers, for some reason, they're always terrified of fitness. Fitness. Hey, why don't you just let me carve up dinner? What is an idea? We hate for a cold. Hey! I didn't do it! It like skips sometimes. It's weird. Mini game consists two parts. On top is the pointer, which rotates in a clockwise direction. On the bottom is the target you're going to be pointing at. Sometimes targets are just. Press the space bar to stop the pointer. Well. Um, the target to win, fail to land on the target, and you lose. To achieve perfect success, land on the target, uh, land on the start of the target, not the end. Okay, ready to play, or would you like me to repeat that? I think I'm ready. I think. Anyway, here we go. Slice. Oh, shit. You completely missed. Fuck! You missed completely. Hey, I got it. Perfect. Oh, what? Not bad. Fuck! You missed the bullet. It's okay, at least you tried a little. Sometimes trying a little takes a lot of effort. What the hell was that? You ruined dinner. Your swings were poorly aimed, you hacked it to pieces. The bad kind of pieces, too. I hope you're drunk. Here, yeah, time is served. For real. The sounds, especially coming from the masked killers while they eat, which involves lifting their masks and shoving food up behind them, are nasty. Spirit, meanwhile, doesn't even eat. She's the only one who seems to be ready to embrace being dead. There are all dead, right? This is obviously hell. I mean, come on. We're still trying to be mysterious here. You think mystery comes easy? Claudette and Dwight aren't the only ones who've been working their asses off to make this night perfect. Well, at least they've, they're lifting their masks this is only 99% as disgusting as it could be if they just tried to smash it through there. Spirit, why aren't you hungry? 
That's my line. Sorry. That's only one thing. Number two. 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 But even worse is they're staring at you. You're not eating. They don't like that. I think they want an explanation of why. What do you want to tell them? Look at that seagull! Wow, do you see the seagull that big? I haven't. That's incredible. Anyway, uh, what were we talking about? William misdirect. Yeah, she's right, MJ. Pretty lame. Own who you are. Never compromise. Okay. Give me her vibe. Do you want that one? Didn't you want to check on the side of the new memory of who you are and how you got here? Yeah, you did. Poor thing. You have no idea the last time you had a real, you ate a real meal and you've been staying in the club. But, but the, the seagull. <laughs> It's a really cool seagull, guys. You should see it. It has two heads. Uh oh. He just made a lot of good points. I swear. You're beginning to feel lightheaded. It waved at me. You might need to eat to survive here. Either that or someone poisoned you. No, wait. You haven't eaten, so you can't be poisoned. Hmm. Whatever the answer, you're clearly about to pass out. Oh, hey, it's me again. Your friend, mentor, and guide. Narrator to the narrator. The ocean. Not sure how I feel about the characterization, but I'll allow it. I brought you here, and I might be the only one who can help you now. The only thing you must do to survive you have to figure out why you're really here. The fuck spirit. The fuck spirit, yeah. That's right. That's our mission. <laughs> no one can tell you. Not unless you follow the right path. Or at least a right path. There's too many of those to count. Hopefully you pick at least one of them. Because there is, there are even more wrong paths. Many of them lead to your demise. Others lead to something even worse. Where's the worst stuff? Starting scenes over and having to fast forward back to where you were, am I right? For this place holds many secrets, even from itself. But the one that truly matters can only be learned if you answer the most important question. Why are you here? The fuck spirit. Answer that, and you'll learn the truth. The ultimate truth. Or it could also be die. It could be die. Not gonna lie. They, mommy can kill me. <laughs> tell me, mommy. Vague, mysterious. I've got to give it up to the ocean character. That's some quality early game storytelling. You wake up to find spirit holding your limp body, gingerly pouring cool water into your mouth. Your water? What the fuck is happening? You gonna keep reading? Can me read it? You just restart it? And the only thing worth pursuing is revenge. I have a moment. What do you want to do with else? You look out into the darkness of night and ponder the question. Well, 
You've always been alone. You've always been alone. Maybe it's spirit's words. Maybe. I will punch both of you. Cats, chill the fuck out. Maybe it's spirit's words. Maybe it's the ocean. Or maybe it has always been this way. But you suddenly feel connected to spirit's words. I may not remember much about my life before. But the one thing I know to be true, I've always been alone. And I will always be alone. Spirit has turned from looking at the ocean and is looking directly at you now. Maybe. Is she crying? I think so, yeah. I think she's crying. Spirit looks around to see if anyone else is on the beach. When she's convinced that it's just you two, she continues. You're not stupid. That sounds badass. I was seeing nothing but darkness. I feel like she'd like that. Let's not put my foot on my PC. I'm trying to get comfortable. I keep moving. Okay. I feel like she'd like nothing but darkness. Yeah. Right. right? Am I wrong? I'm not going to stop you, but I think, I, no, I think you're right. I feel like fire would be Huntress's thing, you know? I'd kill to have a dragon. Maybe not the best choice of words. I mean, a dragon sounds awesome. Honestly, though, I don't feel like I've got anything inside me at all. Just darkness. Never-ending darkness. And here I thought that Spirit was the biggest goth on this island until you arrived! I keep moving. Okay. I gotta get closer to me, okay? Or you, you gotta do the whispery voice louder. Perhaps I could find a torch and search through my blankets. Just as things are really heating up, you hear a flurry of footsteps behind you and you quickly spin around, ready to fend off whatever new danger has popped up on this strange island. Only to find out it's Dwight and Charlotte. Sprinting across the beach, clipboards in hand, which they're waving in the air above their heads. It's very important that we stick the itinerary! A tiny dimensional schedule! Sorry, that was bad. <laughs> Playing sick for cute flirt points, it was not part of this evening's activities. That is strictly slotted in for after campfire story time. At this point, it would be late. So they did slot it in. I don't know my itinerary. Playing stick? No, I was. No top birds, excuse it. Well, there's one thing yet. There is. That was that schedule for after what comes after the flirting. Go, 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 go! Once everyone is gathered at the fire pit, Dwight and Charlotte quickly make an announcement. We're not gonna blame anyone in particular. Totally are. But someone, and we're not gonna say who, so don't worry, you have. You, so don't worry, you hasn't been sticking to the schedule. That means we're behind on time for evening activities. And we'll only have time for one person to share this special spooky nighttime story time. Just one story, but the story time but story time was my favorite activity. Because this is a narrative heavy experience. 
Good. You're the one. You're telling us that only one person gets a share. How will we decide who? Oh, great. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh, great. How does a slide as a group? That never goes well. Whoever did this, step up. Oh, wait, sorry. Whoever did this, step up now. I swear I will be angry. I'll merely chop your head clean off. No fuss, no muss. Voice trembling, do you realize this is probably it for you? But you embrace your fate. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I think they're talking about me. To be honest, I don't understand how this whole schedule thing works. I guess I lost track of time. Well, I was passed out. Been there before. Even though it's taking some pressure off me, which is an absolute dream come true. Is it really fair to become a newbie? Seriously, has any anger ever happened on schedule even once? Damn it, Donald! You try to fix up a authority gimmick one more time, so help me, I'll snap your head off so clean off, and then I'll drown you in his blood. Cynthia, flush the mother muscle back on. You too know I love to hack, slash, and slice. We all know you love to kill. It's almost all you talk about. Nobody names names. We, who even knows names? Not us. I mean, that's my name. Who's old? Who's white? Who even knows anymore? Call me nobody. But we still gotta get started on story time. So, someday, who do you think you should? Someday, who do you think you should go? Ah, damn it, that's name. Please pick somebody quickly so that this tropical vacation doesn't turn into a blood pass. Am I allowed to pick her? Pick her. I'm picking her. I choose you, spirit. It's spirit totally I choose you. Go! It's totally a Pokemon. Whoa, whoa. The entire experience is being carefully cra crafted to avoid a IP infringement lawsuit. Let's be careful with the cash raises, well, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Spirit huffs and dramatically rolls her eyes as she gets to her feet in front of the campfire. Oh, man. Don't let her talk you out of it. She's great with ghost stories. And I need to see that. So. Yeah. I don't know where she gets it, but she comes up with the scariest stuff. Seriously disturbing. Even to me, I literally pulled this guy's skull and and spine out once with my bare hands. Talk about bullshit stories. What well, you're eating? And I don't know. I guess I sit down and. Huntress's eyes go red behind her mask, and both Trapper and Wraith take their seat. They know when it's worth fighting, when it's worth fighting, and when it's not. <laughs> well, I hate to break it to you, but my story is scary. It's a romance. Too late now, though. I was selected, so I'm going to tell my story. And with that, we're going to leave it off for tonight because we have to go to bed. And also, I think this is great cliffhanger. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Don't eat popcorn girls. Anyway, we'll see you next time. And I'm I Jay. I'm Jay, that's Green, and I'm going to go give Green the Heimlich. All right. <laughs> Boy. Bye, boys. Say bye, boys. Bye, boys. Bye, boys. Bye, boys.